Number 16, this is 1972, Lincoln Sand was double diverse, created in Mint State 63, read by PCGS. The 1972 double die Type 1 can be easily identified, with its strong doubling to the southwest on all four digits on the date. The word liberty is also doubled toward the south. The words in God we trust on a verse are also strongly doubled towards the east. This specimen was sold for $384 on September 12, 2023. Number 15, this is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Sand and Circulated Condition, graded as extremely fine 45 by NGC. It is one year only issue with only 484,000 coins minted at the San Francisco Mint. The initials VDB on the reverse of the coin stand for Victor David Brenner, the designer of the Lincoln Sand. And their unauthorized inclusion on the coin led to a public outcry and the removal from the future coins. The coin is in high demand among collectors and its value has increased significantly over the years. This specimen was sold for $1,320. Number 14, here is 2020 W. Talgrass Prayer National Park Quarter from America, the Beautiful Quarters Commemorative Series, graded as MS68 by NGC. The reverse design depicts a skyward view of regal fritillary butterfly against the backdrop of big blue steam and Indian grasses, iconic to Talgrass Prayer National Preserve. MS67 specimens are scarce, while MS68 gems are almost unheard of. This rare gem ended up selling for $1,743.75 with buyer's fee. Number 13, here is 1957 Roosevelt Diamond PR69 Deep Cameo Condition. According to NGC, the speculative mania for modern proof set reached its apex in 1957 and sales nearly doubled over those of the previous year to more than a million sets. This figure, however, shocked and scared away many resale buyers. The result was a temporary setback in the market that is reflected in the 1958 proof sales. The 1957 proof time is common in all grades through PF69. The large number of dies required for such a big mintage resulted in a greater than usual population of cameo and even ultra cameo specimens. The latter are not truly common, but they are far more available than for earlier dates. This PR69 specimen was sold for $2,981.25 with buyer's fee. Number 12. This is 1948 Deerus Wetdown with attractive tonic. Created as MS68 full bands by PCGS, in the Rose Wetdown series, full bands refers to the horizontal twin bands found on the torch that alights the reverse of this popular coin. The bands are supposed to be distinct and show full separation, but sometimes they are not struck fully, resulting in a weak bands. Full bands are considered to be a desirable trait in Roosevelt times and can command premium price. These fully struck 10 cent pieces ended up selling for $1,896.75 with buyer's fee. Number 11, here is 1937 Lincoln Sentin PR67 red cameo condition. Vivid pink to orange surfaces exhibit an uncommon degree of feel to device contrast in a proof Lincoln scent of this date. Nicely preserved red proof specimens that fetch the sum of Number 10, here is 1912 Lincoln Sentin PR66 brown condition. Outstanding copper brown surfaces exhibit a smooth satiny texture with subtle cobalt blue undertones also making a strong visual impression. According to Stax Powers, despite the published proof mintage of 2172 pieces, combined population statistics of, of major certification services suggests that only about a third of these have survived. It's likely that the mud proofs were easily confused by many early 20th century collectors with circulation strikes and some examples may have ended up being spent when coin collections were dispersed. This elusive scent ended up selling for $5,581.25.
Number 9. This is 1957 Lincoln Sentinel 67 wet condition. This exquisite superb gem sports full sun medium orange luster with subtle pastel pink and lilac peripheral highlights. Smooth, inviting and among the finest certified for the issue, this beautiful 1957 would make an impressive addition to a top-ranked Lincoln scent. Number 8 here is 1942 Mercury Dime in PR69 condition. Proof set production was suspended after 1942 because of wartime priorities. According to Heritage, most of the attention was focused on the nickel denomination, which switched composition during that year, as this resulted in inclusion of both types of 5 cent coins in proof sets issued later in the year. Despite the distractions, 22,329 proof times were coined in 1942, and proof times of this date are justly famous for their high quality. The present coin is a superb example of that celebrated quality. It was bargained for $14,950. Number 7. This is 1959 D. Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. Remarkably more red and emerald green toning competes for territory across both sides. This well struck and luster superb gem has an immaculate reverse, and thorough inspection is required to locate the few unobtrusive obverse imperfections. It was sold for $14,950. Number 6. Moving on with this 1925 SP Stellar in MS65 condition, this gem 1925 SP Stellar is one of the keys to the series in this grade. This piece shows bold, attractive toning that is deep and original, unusual for a P Stellar, mostly gold and amber with some deep ocean blue, olive, russet, crimson tinge intermingled near the extreme rims. The strikes through the centers, although not that sharp, is far above average. A few marks on the Liberty's chin and jaw are noticeable. It was sold for $18,800. Number 5. This is 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel sand planchette graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. This 1943 S5 cent is a war nickel of a different kind, struck not in copper, silver, manganese, but in steel, on a scent blank of 1943 without upset rim. A decently detailed example giving the unusual circumstances, lightly toned blue and gold with easily appreciated luster. It was sold for $18,400. Number 4. This is 1928 S. Lincoln Sand in MS65 red condition. A delightful gem red example of this San Francisco issue struck from a remarkably early dye state with none of distracting metal flow typically seen on branch mint issues from this era. The O in 1 is slightly soft, but the coin is otherwise well struck, and no obtrusive spots are evident. Housed in a green label holder, it ended up selling for $18,600. Number 3. Here is Rainbow Toned 1962 D. Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. While the 1962 D. Washington Quarter might not be spring to mind as a conditional rarity, most examples of this issue are left in the gem or lower grades due to reading marks, contact marks, and general roughness that pieces were subjected to, a function of the exceedingly large mintage exceeding 127 million coins. A rainbow of the color envelops both sides and it takes a loop to see any contact marks at all, and they are not worth mentioning. It was sold for $18,400. Number 2. Moving on with this 1953s Franklin half dollar in mint state 65 with full bed lines. The present coin is basically an untoned silver white example save for a slight gold accent and may appeal to a different collector base than the more deeply toned example cited above. Radiant luster is generous and complete on both sides. It was sold for $25,300. Number 1, and this is Bicentennial Eichthaler proof in PR70 deep cameo condition. 
The centennial Eisenhower dollars were coined in 1975 and 1976, all dual-dated 1776-1976. Examples were issued in silver-clad and nickel-clad. The nickel-clad pieces struck in 1975 had a Type 1 reverse with six letters, while the others struck in 1976 had the Type 2 reverse with seen letters. Proof set minted shows that a little under 3 million of the Type 1 coins were minted in 1975, and just over 4 million Type 2 coins were struck in 1976. This perfect proof has flawless nickel gray surfaces with lustrous devices and deeply mirrored fields, as trace of champagne toning is evident on the reverse. It was sold for $25,300. Thanks for watching this episode. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you move on with another video. Have a good one.